I stay selling dope. I don't ever go broke. Keep a bag of coke. When I'm with the white hoes, bullets on point. Like we shooting free throws. Fuck an ounce bitch. I'ma pull me a phone. She gon' sip on this. Then she end up on the floor. Hey, it's your boy Cookie. We out here with Deliberate Minds Entertainment. We doing it big. Shout out you and Draco. We doing this shit. Man, how you get the name, man? Man, my manager, bro, from Bonfire, gave me that name because my last name's Cook. Mm -hmm. He like, so shit. Because my, my first, like, nickname was Red. Because mm -hmm. of my red hair and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he was like, I'm just going to call you Cookie. And I was like, well, fuck it. You know, that sounds cool. And so I just use it as my... Producer tag and beat tag and shit, all that. Where did 1600 come from? 1600. What that represent? That's just, you know, shout out Lil Uzi Vert. That's just the thing I've always liked, 1600. I got you. So more of a favorite number than anything. Yeah. I got you, I got you. So how long you been in, in, into producing, man, making beats and stuff, bro? Shit, I've been doing this shit since I've been in high school, man. This shit's always been on my mind, so I just like... I got a computer one day. My grandma helped me out with that shit. Shout out to my grandma. <laughs> but yeah, she helped me out with that shit. And I got a computer and I got GarageBand. And then I got Logic Pro X and started doing my shit on there. And just pretty much taught myself, you know. What was that process like? Was it, what, you ever got frustrated with it or, you know, like, I didn't play with a, a number of those programs and I know like that shit can get overwhelming sometimes. So explain some of that process and in, in, in your, and your journey of beat making. Shit, bro, it was hard at first. I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes I was just like, fuck this shit, it ain't gonna work, you know? And then other times I'd just be like, oh, like going through Instagram and shit and be seeing all these like positive, you know, little slogans and shit. And I was like, I just kept on pushing myself, kept on pushing and pushing, you know? Just, you gotta stay grinding, bro. If you don't, you ain't, you ain't gonna be nothing. You know what I'm saying? All right. If anybody wanna compare Cookie to anybody, producer-wise, like, where would you classify your beats? Shit, I think, I think I could be like the next Murder Beats. I think I could be. You never know, man. I'm just gonna keep on grinding and dreaming, bro. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. So name name some of the artists that you've been working with. Where where, where can we head these beats at, bro? Shit, you can get at me on my Instagram and shit. And well, I've been working with, I got this artist named Lil G. I got Draco. Draco's my main artist. And then I got TJ Clip. I'll be working with him. Pretty much that's the only ones I'm working with right now. True. Yeah. What's the process of you? What's the process like when you get in there and cook up a beat, bro? Honestly, bro, I'll just be vibing out to some music on the way home from work. And I'm like, I'll just get an idea off one of them beats. And I'll just go home. I usually, like, if I feel like I have, like, a beat that I want to do, you know what I'm saying? It's already cooked up in my head. I just go lay that shit down on the yeah. beat pad. That's what's up. Yeah, for real. How long does it take you to make a beat? I can get, sometimes, dude, it'll take four days, and sometimes I get that yeah. shit done in like 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, just, that's crazy. Yeah. And you spoke of you, you spoke of Murder Beats, and, you know, I've been, I've been following Murder Beats for a little while now, his little journey. Yeah. And this dude, he working with some big names. Yeah, he is, for sure. Shout out to him, man. Yeah. He's doing his thing. Name some well-known artists that you would love to make some beats for. Oh, dude. I really want to get on that Migos status. I really want to get on that Migos status. But I really want to work with Louis E. Bird. That's always been my favorite artist. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely Louis E. Bird. I definitely want to do it. Tape with him and shit. What is it about Louis E. Bird that got you so... It's just like his style, man. It's just like... It's like, I don't care, like, what you think about me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just, he's just, like, he's different, and it's just, I feel it. He's just, like, art, so I've always been, like. Fan of. Yeah, fan of. True, true, true. Yeah. What other producers out there that you like? Shot Metro Booming, man. He be Metro. doing his thing. Yeah, Metro's a good Also, London, not London, London on the track, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's Young Doug's producer, yeah. right, I believe? That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. He definitely be doing his thing. Also, 808 Mafia Boss, man. True. Yeah. Y'all got any? You got any projects coming out or, or oh, any yeah. new singles got, that you about to drop? I got. We got three more singles we about to drop. We got a mixtape we working on. Okay. We be 
I got these beats. We just we just been doing at the house right now. Then we're gonna come in here and cook it up, you know, at Jam City Studios. You know what's up? Give me three studio necessities when you go in there and start cooking up, bro. Uh, when I start cooking up, I gotta definitely have me a blunt roll. You know what I'm saying? I always <laughs> gotta have a blunt roll. And then, you know, you just you just gotta have that right like mindset when you go in the studio because you can't be you can't be joking around and shit. I always, when I'm in like cooking up and stuff, I always gotta have me a chocolate milk. You know what I'm saying? I always gotta have some chocolate milk. What is uh, it about the chocolate milk? I don't know, bro. It just be giving me that, you know. Um, I don't know that. That it's, rush. Yeah, I don't know. It's, the chocolate milk is just good. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> I never heard nobody say chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Yeah, That's I always crazy. gotta have some chocolate milk. I don't know. I might have to damn grab a little bottle and try it out one day when I'm going in there edit real, some videos real. or something. That's crazy. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Now, we about to start doing something a little different. We always talk about the music, what an artist like in that lane. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna, well, I'm going to ask you a real question. I heard you say something about the weed. We see where the, the United States going at with it right now. What's your views on, on the South Carolina laws about weed right now? Man, honestly, I just be smoking it like it's, I'm in Colorado. I smoke everywhere, you know? But they need to legalize that shit because there's no sense in like arresting people for some shit. It's like should be legal, like because yeah. like cigarettes kill people, weed hasn't killed nobody. Like there's no sense. Like and you can make money off of it, so the government can make money off of it and shit. Yeah. But I don't know, man. They just it's some bullshit. <laughs> if you were running for office, what would be your slogan? Shit. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. Right. So for all the fans out there, man, let them know all your social medias, where they can get at to get these beats, where they can go at to listen to this music, follow you, Snapchats, right. all that shit. Let them know. All right. You can get at me on Instagram, acookie at underscore 1600. And get at me on Snapchat, acook3538. Add that shit. You boys about to blow up. Real shit. When people look at South Carolina, they, they, they think it's the black, poor, white, rich. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of yeah. aspect, which is really not. Let the people know where you from, bro. How you explain your come up. Man, I came from a mobile home, bro. We didn't have nothing, bro. My mom was working two jobs. My dad left and shit. And we didn't have nothing. My mom was struggling all her life. If it wasn't for my grandma and grandpa, I wouldn't be doing this right now, for real. They helped me get my computer. They helped me get all my shit. They helped me through school. They helped me get a truck, get a car, you know what I'm saying? It's a shout out to them. I'm just like, we were broke as fuck. We didn't have shit. No. Yeah. We didn't have nothing, man. Shit was crazy. Now, now I got something, and now, like, Trying to take it farther, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, uh, yeah. Shit, how, how was school for you growing up, man? Bro, it was hard, man. I was, I never took it serious. I ended up, like, fucking fell in a bunch of classes and shit. And it was just, it was just hard. But I, I grinded through that shit and got through it. Sure. And now, now I'm on the big and better things. And I really didn't care about, because I was in that mind. I, I thought everything's going to work out and shit. And I thought, like. I didn't have to worry about anything, but shit, I got a right mindset now. Like you gotta work for your shit. You can't, you can't just let that shit come to you because it's not. You gotta go get that shit. Yeah, definitely. Facts. So for a message to any young kid out there trying to grind and and, and do what you're doing or or rap or whatever they want to do, whatever they want to do in life, what's your message to them? Just keep on grinding, man. Always follow your dreams because then dreams do come true. 